Hey guys, it's Jasmine 281 Alright, so today's how-to video has to do with iPhones. Not an iPhone 4, I'm not all updated on my technology. Today we're going to be talking about the iPhone 3G. I was looking around YouTube, just looking at technology videos, and I noticed that lots of people are having the problem where their buttons on iPhone or iPod touches freeze and don't respond. Before you go to any technology places, Apple store, um, to fix TVs, iPhones, anything like that, any places like that, try this process. I'm pretty sure it'll work because if it's happened to me and it's natural for these things to happen, um, I'm going to teach you guys how to get your buttons to work again. Alright, so my iPhone is perfectly fine as you can see. Nothing's wrong with it, but let's just um, act like if it was. So if my iPod was to freeze and my buttons didn't want to work, this is what I would do. This is what you're going to do, and it'll surely work 100%. I've tried it on friends, iPods, um, iPhones, and it works most of the time. All right. So even if, if it's frozen on or off, it really doesn't matter. You're going to turn to the right of the iPhone, and you should see where it's the volume, and it has a slide lock. It's not really a lock, but it's a slide button where you can put it on to sound, or you can put it on vibrate. What you're going to do is you're going to put it on vibrate, which is the side with the red dot. The reason you're going to do this is because vibrate uses much less battery and it'll give it more it'll give more strength to making your buttons work again. All right. So like I said, it doesn't matter if it got frozen off or on. As you can see, I took out my SIM card in terms of privacy and information swap. It's happened to a lot of people. All right. So, here's now we got done with step 1 putting it on vibrate. The next thing you want to do is you want to hold your home button and your power button together until the power side comes out. It just came up right now. What you're going to do, then you're going to let go. After about five seconds of the power lock being there, then you're going to go back again, home button and power button. You're going to hold it there until it goes back to the home or what default whatever the home slide thing it should take about 30 to 45 seconds because if it's an iPhone and if it's an iPod touch it should take about 15 to 20 seconds um, depending on how new it is alright there you go it came back to the home screen so now you can let go and then you want to give it about 5-10 seconds just because it just happened just wait for the home page to go and it goes black then what you can do is you after about 5-10 seconds you can click your home button again and it should be back to normal. The first thing you want to do is try your slide button and it should be working normally. It's happened to lots of people and I fixed them. The call button should work, the number should work, the back button, the IQ, um, everything should work, the volume should work, up and down, no harm, no harm done, no harm gained. Um, and yeah, that was my video on how to fix the buttons on your iPhone or iPod Touch. I hope this helps you if this is a problem you're having. Thank you for watching. Remember, I'm Jasmine 281 Tell your friends, tell your family. If they have problems, just leave me a message or a comment on my channel telling you what how-to video you need. Subscribe up there. Hey guys, I'm Jordan. I'm Jasmine 281 favorite teddy bear I just came by to tell you that you should subscribe to our channel it's really good subscribe the buttons up there she's coming I wonder what other amazing build a bear workshop apps this thing has she's coming subscribe bye